Sorry. <clears throat> Hello, Studio 108 community. I am so glad that you clicked in, that you're taking a listen, a watch if you're on YouTube. And um, I'm delighted because with me today is Allison Pignal Ladd, and she is from the Far East side. I'll let her tell you exactly where because it's those suburbs over there that are just incredibly beautiful and rural. And you love going out there for your pumpkins and your apples. And um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe even the blueberry fritters, but um, I would want to name the wrong um, little location for you, so I'll let you tell us. But Allison's here to talk to us about this myofascial release for everyday life, like why these practices are important, what her niche is around it, how she got there, what she has to offer. I'm really excited because I think this can be life-changing work and I want you to hear about it. So thanks for being here. Listen all the way to the end because we have a little surprise. Allison, how are you? I'm well. How are you, Tracy? Super. Tell us a little bit. First of all, where are you? Okay. So <laughs> I live in, my mailing address is Novelty. I live in Russell Township. Russell Township does not have its own post office. Um, so it's in Geauga County. And yeah, you're right. I'm near Patterson Fruit Farm where people go for apple apple fritters and <laughs> in the snow belt and, and all that. I'm quite close to Chagrin Falls, so I'm pretty... Um, pretty near the border of Geauga County and Cuyahoga County. I love that so much. I know when we first um, popped on, you were watching the cat and the birds out the window and sort of yeah. <laughs> nature plays with each other. <laughs> so hopefully yeah. the birds are faring well and it's going to be a good, safe um, afternoon for them. <laughs> I, I I hope so. And I do. I love, I, I live surrounded by trees and nature and I really, I, I treasure that. I Every day when I walk my dog, I think how privileged I am that I get to just take him into the woods and, and let him run. Like, you know, it's it's wonderful. Yeah, super sweet, super sweet. Well, I know that um, one of the things I love about being in your classes and a part of your practices is that um, that just gratitude and grace that you bring. So when you come here, June 15th to the 29th. We have some Thursday nights lined up for folks. What are you bringing? What are you going to talk about? Tell us a little bit about um, your special kind of passion practice. So what I'm going to be, and what I'm really excited to share with, um, with your community is the role model method, which is um, self-massage with rubber balls. And the thing I love about it is that it, there's, there's many layers to it but it it empowers people to take ownership of how their body works so if you have something that you don't you feel like isn't functioning right or if you have something that's hurting you or if if some um, my teacher jill calls it if you have a body blind spot like a place that you just can't feel um using these balls rolling on these balls just helps with all of those things um, so the classes that I'm going to be teaching are self-massage classes and with the ball, sorry, I'm not, I'm, I was way eloquent with you when we were talking before. Um, <laughs> You're still eloquent. <clears throat> Actually, let me, bop in. let me bop in with just that much because I think you bring up a really beautiful point in terms of um, using that tagline, which I don't always hear in my fascial release kind of practices. You're using the word self-massage. And I think that in these times, it can be so very helpful to appreciate when yoga comes closer to the self-care places where we're used to giving away our power for other people to take care of us. And there are some fringe places, not wow. to replace your doctor, but just to be at those fringe places where is this something I can take care of for myself? Oh, that's such a great way to put it, Tracy, because... It is, it is the thing I love. It makes it so that I don't have to feel like I'm helpless, that I have the power to address this issue on my own or to know when I might need to seek outside help. But, um, I, and I, it's just amazing to me when I'll have people come in and they'll really have this look of fear or panic on their face. They'll think that there's something really wrong or something that's gonna lead to all these trips to the doctor and maybe a surgery and maybe this. And then in, in a half an hour, 
they realize, oh, wait, it's not that bad. And you, you unwind this spiral, you know, from going into this dark place of everything's going to be terrible to, oh, I can make this better. All I have to do is take this ball and do this like a couple nights a week and, or before I run or after my practice or whatever. Like so little- it's, it's such a tool of self-empowerment and self-care. Yeah. And you're talking about little snippets of strategy, like three to five to seven minutes, like not even class. So coming Mm -hmm. to a class like this, you might learn one or two little strategies. Like I have a tendency here to get tight. Someone else has a tendency here to get tight. Like we all Mm -hmm. have these tendencies and we could pathologize it. I mean, sometimes it does require medical care, but there's a long stretch of continuum where maybe you're along that path somewhere where you can intercede with some of these simple, simple tools and and strategies Mm -hmm. to kind of care for yourself. Yeah. And there's also this, this direct relationship. So one of the things that the balls do is they help you to feel your body. Um, they, They help with proprioception. And there is studies have shown this inverse relationship. As you improve your proprioception, your pain perception declines because you're more aware of, oh, that sensation when I do this, you you start to learn it's not pain. It's maybe the sensation of a stretcher going beyond my range of motion, my normal range of motion, but it's not scary. It's not, it's, it's okay for my body to move that way. So it, it, it gives you more um, knowledge about how your body works so that you know when something is something to be concerned about. 100%. Like I Mm -hmm. talk to people sometimes about like the afferent and efferent nervous systems Mm -hmm. and the systems that send the messages up to your brain and how we develop through that conversation of listening to the body and then compassionately directing the body like we learn through this communicative system through this conversation this two-way highway like Mm -hmm. we lay a roadmap down like we lay a mapping system down where we can target and interpret and understand what our body's signals are about with a little bit more acuity and skill right it's not Mm -hmm. you know, I feel that it must be pain. It must be bad. I have to tense up, you know, this is really yeah. terrible. And we start to like have a more sophisticated understanding and relationship mm-hmm. and conversation. So yeah, really good point. Really good point. Okay. Now yeah. go on <laughs> about these, <laughs> this role <laughs> system. What are we going to, what are we doing here? <laughs> so um, what we'll do is we, I, I, I am an anatomy geek, so I can't help but to, um, when I teach a class, to explain to you what tissues we are touching and what they do for you. So if you take a really simple example, if we're gonna roll on our glutes, you know, I would kind of show you the, the general dimensions of the glutes on your, on your um, bottom and how they work, what, what their actions are. And this is also an important learning tool for learning how to use the balls yourself, because then when we get on the balls, I'll teach you the techniques. So I'll teach you if, if, if this is your sensation, you know, you'll contract against the ball and then relax. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'll teach you. So you have to know how to contract your glutes, which I think most of us know, but there might be some other part tissues that people don't specifically know. So there will be a little bit of learning about what's, what's under the hood. Well, um, I love that. Like for then, me, education is the key that opens everything. So I love that. I'm really excited about that portion. So keep going. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. Um, so, and then we, you know, we'll, we will do the self-massage. And then one of the things that is also, to me, just really important in this system and in living well in your body, which I think everybody who comes to this practice, they come for the mental state, but they also come to feel more able in their bodies. Mm -hmm. Um, Once we have kind of released and unwound maybe some overly tight or restricted tissue, then we might do a little bit of movement to show how it feels to move it now that it's released. And 
then at the end, so the thing I was also saying to you before, and I feel like I'm, I'm skipping, I'm kind of hopping around, but the other thing that happens, and anybody who's has had a massage knows this, but there is physiological, you have cells in your connective tissues that when you put this pressure on them and when you like put, roll them on the balls or just lay them on the balls, it just induces the relaxation response in your body. So you get to this wonderful place, you know, after, I, I think we said we're gonna make the classes about 75 minutes. By the time we get to about an hour and we go towards the relaxation portion of the class, you will be like, oh yeah, like I feel great and I can really let go and relax now. I um, think that's one of the um, most um, delightful kinds of experiences that I love sharing with people as a yoga teacher is like the after effect, like how very deeply relaxed you can get in Shavasana. But in this instance, you're really targeting, targeting very deep primal places where the body is storing stress that might have, I mean, that could have been tight and bound for literally years for some people, you know? And it, so to kind of go in there and unravel that, I don't know if you could ever explain it adequately enough to people until you experience it and you're free of it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. like the depth and the gem, the goodness of that, priceless, just really, really yeah. priceless. Yeah. 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 Well, I know that there are a couple of things that make this kind of experience a little bit different than a yin class, like a straight up yin class. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, so, yes. Yeah. So um, it's a little more of a, of a, so the, the balls, because this is, it's this external tool that you're using, it gives your, so, for one, it gives your brain something else to focus on. So sometimes for me, from my experience, I have such a monkey mind that um, if I'm just trying to like be in a long hold or be in this quiet breathing place, I'm just spinning out. I, I need something to put my mind on. So the balls give you a focal point mm -hmm. um, of something to bring your attention to, bring your awareness to. And also then because it's so much of an exploration of, oh, this is what it feels like when I contract my glute maximus. Oh wait, that's the glute medius. So there's this, this it's, it's a wonderful mentally refreshing experience because you're going to this new place and it's so experiential. And it's, it's this body that you live in every day and there might be these moments of like, oh, wait. So that's what that feeling is. Um, so you're still going to get like a lot of, as you said, unwinding or, or you know, releasing long held tension in something. But rather than have it be just from gravity or body weight or breathing your way into it, and we, we certainly do our our. Um, breathing as part of the techniques because breathing is always considered a mobilization um, in the in the role model method. It's just it's a different it's taking a different route to kind of get to that place of you know un unlocking or unwinding or I I hate to say releasing because it's um, well, it seems it's like, what are you releasing? Honestly, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's it's, it, there is this feeling of like, oh, you know, like I, it's, and I, it's very consistent thing that we do a check-in and a recheck. So, you know, we'll feel the, the tissues first, we'll experience them and then we'll experience them afterwards. And the number of times it's, it's pretty much all the time I get this, Oh wow! People are just amazed at this. Oh wow! As the jaw has let go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the cheeks or, are off, and you're just like, oh. I'm yeah. I'm actually standing on my feet, or I'm actually sitting on the floor. Like I can feel 
Well, you figure the right. lymph rushes but back mm -hmm. in, the blood comes back in. Right. The nerves wake up. So there's a sense of vitality and presence mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like not the um, remembrance, like, oh, I remember I have a left shoulder. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's like, I haven't heard from you in a while. The muscles have been too tense for us to speak. But yeah, there's like yeah. so much benefit through various systems of the body. And I love that you bring up um, just the novelty and the specialness of using a particular tool, because it is possible to kind of come into a ho-hum, which a ho-hum, you know what I mean when I say that, that's not a yeah, yeah. Term at all, but like your ho-hum is starts to become disengagement, you know, yeah, it, like mm -hmm. one of my classic, when I, I teach vinyasa so much, it's like triangle pose is such a ho-hum because people are a little bit on the tired side by the time they get there, they feel like it's easy. They're not going to fall over. And so just ho-hum, there's like no engagement. Everything just starts to slump, which is exactly what you're going to want people to do on the roll balls, but not <laughs> want people to do in triangle pose, but like to come to a practice where you know, there's something new and there's something fresh and there's a conversation and there's new information and you're not in that ho-hum experience, mm -hmm. you know, it can mm -hmm. bring a lot of vibrancy um, to your practice. And I yeah. learn a lot in those kinds of exp experiences. Yeah, yeah. It's always cool. You got to keep learning. <laughs> All right. Tell me something um, about your personal practice. Like, what really keeps you anchored and hooked um, as a yoga teacher? What of your yoga practice really just you couldn't do without? Oh, other than legs up the wall. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> I love that. And I know why legs up a wall. Let's unpack it. I love that one. It's so good. Why legs up a yeah. wall? Yeah, but it's 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 not a role model thing. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, but it gives you it's it's such a it's such a um such a reliable way to shift your gears, um, which is which is why I love it. Um, so my practice these days is my yoga practice is, and I remember this when I was new to yoga, which is like twenty years ago, and you would do these classes with these teachers who have been teaching forever. And they were all like doing really subtle stuff. And it was all about the breath. And I was like, no, let's move. We got to sweat. We got to do this. We got to do that. We got to do pro pose. We got to do, put our foot behind our head. We got to do a handstand. I think you were next to me. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like, I love this little subtle stuff. And I love this. I just love anything that gives me the experience of my breath and and that spaciousness in my body so maybe it's an age thing and maybe it's just I've done the other stuff and now I just really I I my practice has become much more subtle it at the same time it's also become really strong but it's become strong because I'm adding load to it so I I also do um am one of those people who in my personal practice I add therabands or I'll I'll be you know, adding a, a, a weight to it. And I'll be going over and doing some deadlifts or some squats um, yeah. too. Yeah. So <laughs> that's good. That's how you take care yeah. of how you keep it holistic. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And I think that for me, um, when you talk about becoming more subtle, it's um, through strength and through skill development. You know, you can't appreciate or um, communicate in that subtlety until you've communicated and appreciated through a grosser plane. It's like the skill development kind of travels along that trajectory. So mm -hmm. we're not going to blame age, my friend. <laughs> we're going to blame, blame the wisdom and the knowledge and the intelligence that, um, that all those years had created within us. Because yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, it was probably was if mm -hmm. not years, 15 years ago that I first met you through. The I think, yeah, so, I, yeah. At, at, at Cleveland Yoga yeah. or maybe even the Strong Stretched and Centered. I, I don't remember. Yes, yes 100%. Yeah, and I, I do. And if you want to get back, the other thing for me for a practice, for a group practice um, that I don't experience that 
as much anymore because I do tend to practice at home a lot is a room full of people chatting. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. which yeah. is just a wonderful thing. And I know that's a, a big part of your practice. Yeah, yeah. even yeah. even to hear the breath, even to be in a room and to yeah. hear the breath is mm -hmm. just so divine. It's like this primal reassurance, you know, um, very primal reassurance that we're not alone, that we're here together. You you're breathing together. You're just like, it's, you're, you're like one organism. One and... organism supporting the betterment of humanity. And, you know, like mm -hmm. everything that we do for ourselves lifts those around us. And, oh my gosh, did we name like 600 different reasons for folks to come to these classes you're bringing? <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if it's 600, but Seriously, I just, so many reasons. I, I think this, this work with the rubber balls is, it can be so transformative. It's such a great, it's, it's certainly not anybody's primary practice, but it's such a great enhancement to your practice and to your experience of living in a human body. Um, that I just, I, I think everybody should know how to, how to use these balls. And I know the first time, like um, Anne Andre is the first person who ever gave me yoga tune-up balls. And I was like, yeah, well, I have tennis balls and I didn't get it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think you corrected me too. <laughs> and, and, and I get until it. I trained, no. until I like took a class and then I was like, oh, so they like grip and, and that sheer on the skin is so wonderful and I can take them and like nuzzle them into my bones and my bones say, oh, thank you for touching me. Um, so yeah, they're... Um, it's they're just a great tool to have and they're so affordable too yeah. so um well you don't that, have it's have one of the other things that i like about it. no no i'm going to bring everything that people need you so bring people don't need to have their own products no and um, then what we'll probably do is help people that want to find their own after the experience you know mm -hmm. we'll help them kind of yeah get some of their own if that's important to them but yeah yeah I'm yeah. super excited to have you. We have three Thursdays in June lined up, you guys. Um, I took our regular yin class at 7.15, Thursday the 15th. Can I add seven? The 22nd and the 29th. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, <laughs> check my math. And um, yeah, 7.15 until 8 30 so there's a little extra time and if you practice that hour with me you know that I go late anyway so it's not even very much extra time <laughs> I'll be out of here and home well by nine o'clock and um yeah and Allison's going to um she's going to take the lead on these three Thursdays and we've had this on the website as a workshop but what I'd like to do, um, just as our community is really new to these kinds of conversations, and I want as many people as possible to have access to an experience like this, I would love for folks to come and really appreciate and um, be able to bump up the, the relationship they have with themselves with their practice. And Allison has agreed. So we are just going to offer these three workshops as classes. So your regular class pass, your regular drop in, um, your regular membership will be great for this. And thank you to Allison for being so generous to drive from novelty slash Russell slash outdoor. <laughs> to to share this because um, her level of expertise is really um, much more than than she's willing to share with us. Um, she's a humble one. But um, yeah, yeah, you guys, you won't be disappointed. You'll be really, really thrilled if you can. I, I have been I have been training teachers around the country in this method now for four years. Yes. So yes. So yeah. we are talking about a master teacher. Um, a teacher that teaches other teachers is most certainly a master teacher. And um, it's really special to have someone who's teaching at that caliber right here local for us. So come if you can. There will be a link in the notes at the bottom of this. There will be a link to contact with Allison um, if she's willing to share her email. And I'll bet she'll say yes. So you can reach out to her, too, because you teach online from on your own independently. Yes, I, te I, ha I have one I have one public class that I teach online on Wednesday mornings at um, 1030. And then I do online privates and I do privates in my home, too. But it's for people who are in independence, it's a long drive. 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So you might come on that Thursday and meet her and decide that she is exactly who has that niche understanding of the body that might help unlock something that you've been struggling with. And we have all different kinds of professionals that help us. Typically, um, when you work with these things, it's not just one quick answer and it's solved. Usually it's like a tendency against your posture or your lifestyle or something or a previous injury and you're working with it for a while and it can be really, really helpful to have fresh eyes and a new perspective on it. So um, big fan of yours, Allison. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Tracy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will see you in just two weeks here in Independence, but thanks for taking time with us today. Thank you. Awesome. Take care, you guys. Thanks so much for following.